After the weekend, Mondays blow. You can make it better with the Monday Show. Happy Monday. Here are some interesting things that happened last week. Brought to you by Coffee. American Sniper shattered January box office records, bringing in an astounding $90.2 million. Turns out audiences still want Eastwood to play Misty for them. Avatar 2's release date was pushed back from 2016 to Christmas 2017. According to James Cameron, when seeing the movie, and I quote, you will shit yourself with your mouth wide open. Hot off their best television series win at the Golden Globes, Amazon has greenlit a new show to be entirely written and directed by Woody Allen. This will be the Woodman's first TV show, and you can see it sometime next year. On Thursday, the Academy Award nominations were announced. Dick Poop. Dick Pope for Mr. Turner. Birdman and the Grand Budapest Hotel lead the pack with nine nominations each. New research suggests there may be at least two planets larger than Earth beyond Pluto. Though not yet officially discovered, Neil deGrasse Tyson is already hard at work making sure they won't be recognized as planets. According to data from NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, 2014 was the Earth's hottest year on record. Fox News had this to say. Today, January 19th, marks the 206th birthday of Edgar Allan Poe. Here are five things you may not know about the Master of Macabre. Number one. We know him for his gruesome stories and poems, but during his lifetime, Edgar was most known as a literary critic. He garnered controversy after trashing the poetry of the then-popular Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, which today would amount to a Twitter war. Number two. Poe was the first American writer to make a living through writing alone, which resulted in a financially difficult life and career. Amidst his alcoholism and opium addiction, he also invented the detective genre. Number three. You might know this one already, but Edgar Allan Poe did marry his first cousin, Virginia Clem. This is now considered morally, socially, and in some states legally unacceptable, but familial marriage has been a pretty normal thing for most of human existence. Here's a list of eight famous people who married their first cousins. Charles Darwin, H.G. Wells, Saddam Hussein, Igor Stravinsky, Christopher Robin, Jesse James, 8th President Martin Van Buren, Albert Einstein. Wait a second, was that a list within a list? Number four. On October 3rd, 1849, Poe was found delirious on the streets of Baltimore, wearing clothes that weren't even his own. Four days later, he passed away. The cause of death is still unknown. Number five. For over seven decades, a mysterious man known as the Poe Toaster visited the grave of Edgar Allan Poe every year on the author's birthday. Dressed in black with a wide-brimmed hat and white scarf, he poured himself a glass of cognac and raised a toast to Edgar, then disappeared into the night leaving behind three roses and the bottle of cognac, co con, cognac, cognac. The Poe Toaster's identity is still unknown. His last appearance was on Poe's 200th birthday. To Edgar. And now for something you didn't expect to learn about. Is Fanta a Nazi drink? Technically, yes. You see, by the time World War II began, the Coca-Cola company had already reached international fame. Its soft drinks were actually an important part of the war because water wells were often destroyed in battle and soda was an available substitute. So when the U.S. forced all American companies to cut their exports to Germany, Coca-Cola Dutchland could not get the syrup needed to make Coca-Cola Classic, so they created a new drink using the resources they had available, mainly whey and pornis, the solid remains of oranges after pressing for juice. This drink became Fanta. Wanna subscribe, don't you wanna, wanna subscribe? Wanna subscribe, don't you wanna, wanna subscribe? Yeah.